If you're a petrol head, just like me, you grew up watching Jeremy, Richard and James on a Sunday night driving around some of the best roads in the world. I always thought it'd be amazing to do what they do. So this is me, and this is my dad, and we're doing exactly that. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel, and day five, I'm going to need more fingers for the next few days, uh, to the Alps and Pyrenees petrol head tour with this lovely bunch. So we just got back to the hotel after the dorm road for breakfast, we'll be departing in about an hour and a half's time on to the next hotel tonight in Jas Jasir Swear, however you say it. It's about 246 kilometers ish. So not too much driving today compared to the other days of 350, 400. So it should be a nice easier day now that the dorm raid is done. Um, yeah tiredness is probably gonna hit us a bit different today after getting up at quarter to five for that run. <laughs> but yeah should be a chilled day from here out. Nice unhealthy breakfast before we set off. Peaceful, love it. And for today only, we have a French local friend of the group in his GT3 as well. He's on 991. Yeah, nice. Uh, well, that's Hotel Rat tonight, where we are staying for two nights. Another day, another fuel stop. <laughs> so that was where we was this morning, right up there, just out of the clouds. Yeah. Stuck behind the French today, not many chances to get past, so we just sit back and enjoy the scenery. Not sure of the name of the place, but it's like the gorgeous gorge, and we've just come down there, around right there, and I can hear something down there. It could be Tom in the GT field, possibly Dave in the caterer. I'm just waiting for him to pop out for that little little tunnel. As you can see more of the road as well as you go all the way along there. That's where we've come from. Yeah, that's around the Malpine. He's just going to be on your corner. There is some of the other guys just come through the tunnel. Down there, I oh, like that. Oh, oh, motorbikes. <laughs> it's not us. It's just motorbikes enjoying the road. <laughs> Stopped off again. It's just like just when you think the views are good, you get that. I have no idea what hill or mountain that is, but yeah. Pleasing the locals for a little photo shoot for his uh, Instagram page for the coffee shop. <laughs>
Right, now it's time for us to make a move as well. 700 metres, turn right onto Lady Marange.
France is just like pretty much mind blowing. Every time you stop off or something, you think this is a sick view, it's not going to be much better than this. And then you turn a few bends and then you get another one. And again, no idea where this is. I'll probably be able to figure it out and pinpoint it and put it down below where it is. But yeah, colour of the water. Lovely and hot. Definitely makes me want to go for a swim, which I'm definitely doing later. All I know is it's an EDF dam, so these are the people that rip us off for our electricity bill. But yeah, jump in a car, off for lunch. got to the fifth hotel it is now and the vibe has completely changed this is proper like alps ski lodge country the hotel or villa morelia chris is just arriving in there mate <laughs> yeah we done the same thing <laughs> This is like probably the snazziest, I don't know, French Riviera kind of hotels that I've stayed in so far. But it's proper nestled between the mountains. Shame about the trees make it nice, but at the same time they kind of block out the view. But yeah, there's mountains all around. So we got kind of a bit of a grand entrance going into the car park, and we got our own VIP parking at the back. Here comes tour guide Pete. Managed to beat him here to the hotel. It wasn't actually last today. More views. And that is checking. I have completely changed my mind on France. Okay. I was a bit set on Spain to begin with. Okay. Despite the weather. Yeah. But now, here. Okay. That's because you haven't done the Spanish tour. <laughs> really? Once you've done the Spanish tour, you would be like, back to oh, Spain. great. But <laughs> what I'm getting so far is that Spain is like 60% roads, 40% scenery. This is 60% scenery, 40% roads. Yeah. Okay. No. I, like, I do like the scenery. Yeah. Though, not 60. Oh, what? Uh, 63? I, I, I agree, but like more like 80, 20. Really? I've enjoyed them so far. To be fair, we haven't done many else. 
So, <laughs> I'm still calculating. Okay. This, this is like the first of proper out territory, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so yeah. the loop day we do from today, Tomorrow. we go up the highest paved class in Europe. Oh. Or the second. Depending yeah, on who's <laughs> So, the highest is called the Lissaran. And it goes up, comes up, comes back down again, right? And then the second highest was called the Lavonette, which we're going to do tomorrow morning. Yes. Yeah. One of these, which is that way, okay. over there, right? It's a long way up. But you call the Lavonette, yeah. through a little cut through, and then you start going down the other side. So what they did was they added an extra piece of road that goes up a little bit more and then comes back down again. That extra loop is probably five or six hundred meters, right? But the top of that extra loop is maybe 50 meters, 70 meters higher than the cut through of the pass. So that, that's claimed it. So that extra bit, <laughs> if you include that, is that, that makes it higher than Cordillis around. Yeah. If you don't include that, of course, most people are like, well, you can't include that because you can get through the pass and it'll cut through. So yeah, that's the pass, that's just counting. an extra loop. You've added, you see? It's cheating. So yeah, so the, so the Burnett people are like, no, 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 because if you go to the end of the loop, then, then we're higher. And the Colonel people are like, we don't need a loop, we're already higher. <laughs> yeah, so, and then Stelvio's third. Nobody, nobody's in disagreement yeah, about that. Stelvio's third. Have you got ready? Yeah. <laughs> I have some All right, let's go check in and into the pool. Hey, Chris. To the pool. To the pool and the bar somewhere. There, that bar full of juicy goodies. Okay, I feel like I need to do a room tour because the other rooms have been okay. Um, and I kind of forgot to be honest, but this one is more worth it. So, pretty standard stuff. Come out to this lovely garden balcony. Straight away, the pool is down there in the bar. Overlooking the mountains on both sides. And then back inside, nice brand new bathroom, and it's clean, no mould around the silicon. Um, yeah, snazzy. A phone to call for help. So long that even Stu couldn't order a dessert. No. Uh... Don't you wave your noodle at me, young man. <laughs> It sure looks like they've been chewing on your noodles. Yeah. 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 Y